This morning, we received the latest figures from the Census Bureau. And I couldn't help but think of the speech I heard last night sitting in the House chamber from President Obama about how important health reform is for our economy, how important it is not just for the poor, for those who don't have insurance, but for our middle class, for our businesses. We learned this morning from the Census Bureau in figures that are obviously early figures in 2008 that poverty in this rich nation has gone up, that median income in households across this nation has gone down. This was not a surprise to those of us in health care, to those of us in social ministries but it reinforces how much we need to get health care reform that is worthy of the American people. I was heartened to hear the, the many wrong and distorted statements about health reform debunked last night. I was also very heartened to hear our president say clearly no federal funds will be used for abortion and conscience protections will be in place. CHA has long advocated for this. It's a clear part of our principles and we were very pleased to hear it. This gives us the encouragement to continue to work diligently with the members of Congress and with the White House to work for health reform because our middle class and our very poor need it desperately. This nation needs it desperately. And we will work together with our elected representatives, with the bishops of our country, with other committed organizations to try to find a way to get quality health care for everyone in this country. Thank you for all you have done. It's clear your representatives in the White House have heard from you, and they need to continue to hear from you. Please keep us informed with your suggestions, your concerns, your comments, and most of all, thank you. May God bless you for all your efforts each day to be a safety net for those who don't have coverage, but who still have health care needs. Thank you.